welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 3.1, we see how to enter tasks. So first, we see how to create a new task, how to insert a task between existing tasks, how to add tasks in the network diagram view. Through this series of MS Project video tutorials, we shall see how to create a project plan for a residential project. The first step, which is entering tasks, will be dealt with in this video tutorial. Let us say the first task is to finalize and develop estimate with owner and architect. So, under the column which says task name, we click the first row which is where the first task will be written and we type the task. After we have entered the task, we can press enter. We see that it is already given an ID of 1 automatically and on pressing enter we move to the next line again on the task name column. We can enter the next task here. So let us say we want to write sign contract and notice to proceed. again press enter. This new task is denoted with an ID of 2 and we move to the next line in the task name column. We can continue entering tasks like this. So let us say we enter the next one as securing framing permit. And press enter. It can so happen that in between we may realize that we want to insert some task in between two already given tasks. So what we can do is, let us say we want to insert a task between task number 2 and task number 3. So we click on task number 3, go to the task tab, from there go to the insert sub tab and choose task. So we see that a new task space is created between task number 2 and the earlier task number 3. Here we can enter whatever we want as the inserted task in between. Now if you go to the view you will see that we are seeing a Gantt chart view right now. The tasks are easiest to enter in a Gantt chart view but this is not necessary. We can also enter tasks in other views. For example, let us say network diagram. If we click network diagram, we see that all our tasks have been shown here. Now let us say we want to enter a new task. The process is the same. We go to the task tab, go to the insert sub tab and click on a task. The new task comes and here we can type whatever we want as the new task. If we go back to the GAN chart view, we see that the new task is again shown here also. So to summarize, we have seen how to create a new task how to insert a task between existing tasks and how to add tasks in the network diagram view. A sample of the plan with completed task list is available on group.net. Thank you for joining us on this tutorial. In the next part of the video tutorial series, we will look at how to estimate durations.